So here we have the diagram of a function with formula log to the base 4x and y equals log to the base 4 of x, this curve here. And we're told its inverse exists and we're asked to sketch the graph of that inverse. And we're told to do that on the diagram in your answer book. So let's have a look at, first of all, the diagram that's given in your answer book. Well, there it is. Just a larger version of this. Now, you can see from this graph, the normal way of reading this graph would be say, OK, well, let's take an x value of 4, for instance, and let's read off log to the base 4 of 4. So 4, log to the base 4 of 4, ends up as 1. That's why 4, 1 is on the graph. When we put the number 4 into the function, out comes 1. 4 goes to 1. The inverse process would be 1 going back to 4. In other words, what was the y-axis is now acting like the x-axis. Let's try that again. x-axis, normal graph here, x is 4, 4 goes in, y is 1, 1 comes out. Reversing it, if you like, x is 1, y is 4. So the x and the y-axis have swapped places. Now, the way to do that is to reflect the graph in the line y equals x. So we're swapping the roles of x and y. So there's the line y equals x, and we'll use that as a mirror line, a symmetry line, so that where we had 4, 1 on this graph, we should now have 1, 4 on the corresponding graph. So the point 4, 1 would get replaced by the point 1, 4 on the new graph. And similarly, 1, 0, if we swap the x's and y's round, we'll get 0, 1, so that this point will end up there. And if we have, for instance, a point a quarter, minus 1, which is down there, we'll get minus 1, 1 quarter. So a point away down there would go to a point up here. So you can begin to see the way this curve is going to go and its inverse is going to be the original curve reflected in y equals x. So there's the diagram that I started with. The curve y equals log to the 4, log to the base 4 of x. And there's the whole diagram reflected in y equals x. So there's the point 1, 0 going to 0, 1 now, and the point 4, 1 going to 1, 4. And there's our sketch, if you like, of the inverse function. So let me just trace that out. So here we have the sketch, finally, of the inverse function. This is f to the minus 1 of x. And this part is not essential, but it would be 4 to the power x. The inverse of a log is an exponential function. So that bit's not essential. But there is the sketch, and you should clearly indicate that the point 1, 4 is on that sketch, and also the point 0, 1. So the general shape is an exponential graph, and it crosses the y-axis at 0, 1, and it also has the point 1, 4 on it.